So let's start the book. Advanced preliminary. Right. So we'll first start from the first page of the grade. Right. In this grade, I haven't given any revision in this book. I've given other work like in the first few pages you can see that there are um, there are some exercises to do those are out of your syllabus they are not according to your syllabus the syllabus starts from page 7 according to this book there might be changes because uh, uh, this is an old book so just see if you have this the first page for the syllabus work on page 7 if not it might be on another page anyway it's the same sequence right so we'll start from the beginning first of all we have to talk about possessive adjectives now possessive adjectives means possessive means something that belongs to you or me or something right so possessive my my is in singhala mage your obage his ohuge her ayage its uge right that's that's for actually uh, that's for animals <laughs> right so this is the meaning of this right in Sinhalese and here you have to answer in singular right answer the following questions singular sentences because it starts with is so is is singular now is this now here you have to draw draw the pencil in your hand so you draw it here you draw it with a pencil okay now you have to answer it according to thinking that this question is asked by the examiner so the examiner is asking is this pencil is this your pencil so you can write yes it is because this is your pencil right because you have drawn the pencil in your hand right and is this my pencil the examiner is asking is this my pencil no it isn't is this your pencil or my pencil it is my pencil then whose pencil is this it's the same answer it is my pencil stop then draw the bag teacher has near her so now the teacher's bag okay right now here the teacher obviously says the examiner's bag <laughs> right now the examiner ask, is asking this from you or the teacher is asking this from you is that your bag no it's the examiner's bag so we say no it isn't is that my bag the examiner is asking is that my bag because you have drawn her bag yes it is is that my bag or your bag it is your bag then whose bag is that it is your bag again is the same answer although the question the format of the question is different you know the two formats are different is that my bag or your bag make a bag bag and the same question whose bag is that make a kage bag right we'll go on to the next one draw your friend's pencil this time it's a boy's pencil so you draw a boy's pencil there like okay that's a boy <laughs> right is that your pencil no it isn't it's not my pencil it's it's the boy's one right is that his pencil the boy's boy's his yes it is is that her pencil is it a girl's one no it isn't is that your pencil or his pencil is it your pencil or his pencil it is his pencil is it because it's the boy's one and it's not yours 
Then whose pencil is that? Again, it's the same answer. It is his pencil. So we go on to question number four. Draw your friend's ruler. This time it's a girl's ruler. So we draw, draw the ruler. And we draw like a girl. Okay. You don't have to draw the girl. Just drawing it for you to understand. Right. Is that your ruler? Is that your ruler? No, it isn't. I guess you have a better ruler than that. Right. Is that her ruler? Yes, it is. Is that his ruler? No, it isn't. Is that my ruler or her ruler? It is. It is her ruler. Then whose ruler is that? Again, it's the same answer. It is her ruler. Right, we go on to draw your father's watch. So you draw his watch like that. Is that your watch or his watch? It is his watch. Is that his watch or her watch? Okay. It is his watch. Right. Next, you can continue with that, talking about your father's watch. Okay, is it a watch? Is this a watch? Is that a watch? Yes, it is, like that, right? Is it a hairbrush? No, it isn't, and go on. Now, here, we expect you to know these sentence structures. Yes, it is, no, it isn't, uh, and yes, they are, no, they aren't, as we did in preliminary. Right, so you have to just use your knowledge in prelim in the preliminary grade and answer these questions. Right now, they are asking other questions, one-off questions such as, "Is this your bag or her bag?" It is her bag. Is this its dish or your dish? It is its. Sorry, its dish don't put don't put that okay it's dish because this belongs to a bo a dog is this her bat or his bat it is his bat like that you look at the the pictures and answer the question now here answer the following questions in plural sentences now be careful these were singular questions. Now, this is going to be in plural. Are these your pencils? So, draw the color pencils in your color box. So, you can't draw one. You'll have to draw all the pencils. Okay. So, draw at least two pencils. Right. Are these your pencils? Yes. They are. And plural. Are these my pencils? No, they aren't. Are these your pencils or my pencils? They are my pencils. So this your, my, his, her, its, those don't change, right? Possessive adjectives don't change. It's just that the whole, the sentence changes to plural. Whose pencils are in your box? They are my pencils. So you can do it for the teacher's pencils, right? And a boy's set of pencils, a girl's set of books, and your father's ties, your best friend's books, I guess. Yeah, right. So that you can complete. The only thing is, please remember, you have to use, yes, they are, no, they aren't, and they are, because it's plural, right? So, you can go on doing that. And now we'll go on to personal pronouns. So, personal pronouns I, you, he, she, it. That's all we have in this grade. So, I've, I'll be doing more lessons about this, right? We'll be doing more lessons about this, especially when it comes to the speaking exam. But here, you have to just know to use am, is, are properly. 
according to these personal pronouns. So, I am, you are, he is, she is, it is. Now, the negative, negative form means no. The no, no sentence. I am not, you are not, he is not or isn't, you can say. She is not or isn't, you can say. It is not or it isn't. Question, you put this am, is, are in front. Am I, are you, is he, is she, is it? So that is what you have to remember in this lesson. And now they have given some examples. Are you a student? You can say yes I am or no I am not. See the question is there with are in front. The positive answer with yes I am. Negative answer with no I am not. Am I your mother? Yes you are. No, you aren't. Oh, no, you are not. Is your father a doctor? If he is, yes, he is. If he's not, no, he is not or isn't. Is your mother, that means a she, a housewife? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Is this a pen? Yes, it is. And if I ask this, is this a pen? No, it isn't. It's a book. <laughs> right. So, we go on to answering the questions. Are you a pupil? Yes or no? Yes. I am. Okay. In my case, I am not. I just think that I am answering in your shoes. Right. I am answering like a student. So, I will answer this as a student. Am I your mother? The examiner is asking, am I your mother? No. You. You can say, are not. Or better, you answer with aunt. Okay. Then, is your pet a cat? You can say yes or no. It depends on uh, what pet you have. So, yes, I do have a cat. So, I can say yes, it is. Am I your friend? The examiner is asking, am I your friend? No, you aren't. Is your mother a teacher? So, my mother is not a teacher, so I can say, no, she isn't. Now, you can say, no, she is a banker, no, she is a housewife and things like that. But this is all that they expect you in this grade to write. No, she isn't. So, if you know the spellings, you can say, no, she is a banker. But if you don't know, you can write this and get away with it, okay? So, you don't have to know all the spellings, just know how to write this and you can score full marks is your father a banker so according to me yes my father is a banker so i would say yes he is am i your mother okay the examiner is asking am i your mother no you aren't is your best friend an engineer mm, i don't think so no best friend so he can be a he or a she he, she, I don't know. Now, if it's for me, I, my best friend is a she, she's a girl. So, or rather, she's my best friend, she, right? No, she isn't. So, if, it, if, you, if you've got a best friend who is a boy, you can write, no, he isn't. Is your grandfather a pilot? In my case, no, no, he isn't. But you might have... A grandfather who was a pilot okay then we can go on with the next one is she a doctor now they've given shown pictures you can answer is she a doctor yes she is you can say yes she is a doctor right because they have given spellings here but this is enough are you a banker are you a banker no I am not now, please don't try to write am here. Yeah, I have seen some children writing this like this. There's no word like this. Okay, this is wrong. Am not. But yes, you can write isn't. Aren't. These are right, but not this. Okay. Is he a policeman? Yes. He 
is so you can go on this is the same thing that you have to do until pay uh, until question 20 and the last question is is your pet a dog so it's right you can write yes it is or no it isn't right now in the next example in the next set of questions you have to do are you a student or a teacher i am a student see now they have given you they have not just asked you are you a student or are you a teacher they have given two choices and told you to answer the proper one right are you a student or a teacher i am a student am i your teacher or your mother you are my teacher is your father a doctor or an engineer he is a doctor is your mother a banker or a housewife? She is a housewife. Is this a dog or a pen? It is a dog. So if there's a dog there. Right? So this, this is just an example. You have to write it properly. Now here, uh, I actually have forgotten to give you space to write so you can like draw the lines like that am i your teacher or your mother now i am asking as the teacher i am asking you so you can say you are so if there's i you will have to say you is it common sense right you, you are my teacher then are you a student or a banker I am a, now if I am a student, I'll have to write, I am a student. Are you a pupil or an engineer? I am a pupil. So pupil, students, all of them are the same. Is your pet a dog or a cat? It is a cat. Now if you don't have a cat or a dog, if your pet is a fish, okay? So you just write, uh, I don't have a pet. Or you can say, no, my pet is a fish or none of them or something. But if you just want to answer this question and get out of it, you can answer with one of these, one of these. Right. Okay. Is your father a student or a, and you'll have to write your father's occupation here. So my father was a banker. So I'll just write it there. Is your father a student or a banker? He is a banker. Then, is your mother a girl or a... You'll have to write your mother's occupation here. So, she was a banker herself. So, I would write, she is a banker. That was when I was a student. <laughs> okay. Right. Now, they are, they'll be showing... Uh, they have shown pictures like this for you to answer. Is he a farmer or a policeman? He is a farmer. Is she a teacher or a student? She is a student. And you can go on writing that until question 12. Now, mainly what you are expected in this lesson is to be mindful now. Now, you all are now big children. You all can understand more than you know a preliminary grade student or a junior preliminary grade student because now you are grown up is it so you can't just answer with yes it is no it isn't right that's i think that's the favorite that's the most favorite uh, answer that you'd like to give but here now you have to check whether there are people there there are ladies or gentlemen or animals right and then answer so if there is a gentleman or a boy you use he there's a lady or a girl you use she right and if it's i and you you use it accordingly so now right or no it isn't it right then uh, yes, it is. Kepu gamang neither. Say the Mahari neither. No, it isn't. Kepu gamang. 
සෙහෙරම හරි දැන් එහෙම නැහැ කියලා තමයි ඔන්න මම කියන්න හදන්නේ රයිට් දැන් ඕගොල්ලෝ බලන්න ඕනේ මෙතන ඉන්නේ කවුද ගැන එක කෙනෙක්ද පිරිමි එක කෙනෙක්ද එහෙම බලලා තමයි දැන් උත්තර ලියන්න ඕනේ එක පාරම yes it is කියලා no it isn't කියලා කියන්නවත් ලියන්නවත් යන්න එපා බලන්න එයා ගැන එක කෙනෙක්ද පිරිමි එක කෙනෙක්ද නැත්නම් සත් සත්ව ගණයට අයිති එකක්ද එහෙම කියලා බලලා තමයි උත්තර දෙන්න ඕනේ දැන් ඕගොල්ලෝ ලොකු හින්දා right so now we'll go on to the next question it's the same here you have to draw yourself so you draw yourself nicely right okay i just draw it like that <laughs> right so i am and write your name so i just write an and i am from gampaha i'm sri lankan i'm a sri lankan girl i am short okay i am in grade so okay i just just think that okay i'm in grade 5 or something <laughs> right now they are asking you questions are you rani no i am not are you sri lankan yes i am are you japanese <laughs> no i am not are you indian no i am not are you in grade 4 No, I am not. Are you in grade five? Yes, I am. Are you in grade three? No, I am not. Okay. So you go on and on and on and on writing that. Then they ask, Are you a student or a doctor? Then you go, I am a student. Right. Like that. Use this knowledge. Use the previous knowledge. This knowledge, right? Use these examples. Read them again and answer these questions accordingly. That's it, right? And here you have to draw this person, your teacher, right? Here you will have to answer with, "Am I Rani?" So he is asking, "Am I Rani?" Then, if there's I, you answer with you. No, you aren't. Am I an? Yes, you are. In the next page, draw this boy. You draw this boy called Dominic. Then he's from Nigambo. And okay, is he Jack? No, he isn't. Is he Sri Lankan? Yes, he is. Is he Japanese? No, he isn't. Is number four? Is he Indian? No, he isn't. Is he sixteen years old? Yes, he is. Is he a schoolboy? Yes, he is. Then is he from Colombo? No, he isn't. So just look at this and answer the questions, right? So that is for he, and this is for she, right? So we are answering questions from you. Sorry, I you. I, you, he, she. Okay, so that is that. Now the next next one is about simple adjectives. Now adjectives are okay. These are like simple adjectives means they just express or we. describe nouns using simple adjectives for example okay say boy is a noun right so we can say now see that's a boy hmm. we can call him a thin boy we can call him a fat boy we can call him a good boy we can call him a tall boy we can call him a okay tall short even short right so like that a handsome boy <laughs> right so these are adjectives adjectives kiyanne me nama visheshana visheshana pada visheshana kiyanne me api noun ekak nama padayak issara karanna ganna padayak right then me nama pada ogulanta deela tiyenawa ogulange word book ekey there all these nouns or oh, sorry all these adjectives are there in your word book and you will have to study the spellings because they are going to ask them in your exam right and we'll go on to do that 
answer the questions see if the question is in singular or plural form and then answer yes now we expect you to be mindful about that right is your pencil long or short you can say it is i don't know long <laughs> right then is your mother fat or thin she is thin you should be mindful when you write that answer your mothers wouldn't like you like to be called fat so write thin <laughs> then are you big or small i am small something like that right then is ice cream hot or cold that that's quite obvious ice cream is cold is your best friend tall or short he or she or whatever okay my best friend is she is tall is your best friend good or bad she is good right so be careful you can't write it is a long in front of adjectives you can't write a you'll have to just write he is thin it is long she is thin like that or if you're going to write it in another way is your father fat or thin okay oh we say is your if this a long pencil or a short pencil then you can answer it is a long pencil okay but they won't ask questions like that they are going to ask questions like this so if you are writing a you will have to say it is a long pencil okay it is a long pencil that is the correct way of writing it right you can't say it is a long it is a long is wrong it is a long pencil but they have asked is your pencil long or short so this is the the correct answer right this is like the long answer but then the question also should be is your pencil a long pencil or a short pencil so that's a totally different grammar structure or rather sentence structure right so you will have to answer like this right so there are about 35 questions there right so they're easy it's, they're not so hard the only thing is be careful now see here are your books new or old then you will have to say my books are are new or old or what right so be mindful when you are doing this be careful it should be uh, if it's singular if the question is in singular please answer in singular if the question is in plural don't please please be careful now right don't write it in singular write it in plural okay right so do that and uh, you can show me these questions we'll see how to uh, mark them later on now we'll go on to the next set of questions answer the questions these are like these are questions that they might ask in the exam so i've given 100 questions there right 100 questions they are all to do with the questions that were asked in the past grades and the ones that are there for this grade as well right so like it's questions that were asked from introdu introductory grade to advanced preliminary grade so you can check them out so what's your name so you can answer i am and go on how old are you i am 10 years old where do you live i live in gampa do you go to school yes i go to school so these questions were asked from you uh, in the preliminary sorry in the introductory grade so you know you can answer them very easily and then uh, in the next page yes uh, in the next page okay there are these two questions what's your mother's name so you can say or oh, who is your mother so what's your mother's name and who is your mother are the same they're the same it's the same meaning right so you say my mother is mrs and you can write the full name and what's your father's name who is your father it's the same answer now here they are asking what is your father what is your father means <coughs> they are asking your father's job he is a and you can write bank or engineer or whatever what is your mother she is a you can write housewife or something like that 
so now you see you are expected to know these vocabulary or the spellings of the things or people who are connected to you you see you don't need to know all the spellings under the sun but at least know the spellings of people or vocabulary of the things that are connected to you now the the spellings of your school the spellings of your mother's name the spellings of your father's name the spellings of their jobs the spellings of uh, your teacher's name and your best friend's name if your best friend has like a long name right try to find the spellings of them and you know practice them right then your favorite subject right your pet's name <laughs> so these things uh try not to keep them you know to uh to do them at the exam right try not to figure them out in the exam you'll have to figure them out beforehand right and study those spellings and keep them so that for the exam you can answer without any problem now they are going to ask questions like this in the exam so you have to get ready with it so at least finish this part in the book so that you'll know that uh, you'll know what to study and what not to study so mainly this is the syllabus so you'll just have to know uh, all these spellings right so then here from here they are asking is your teacher kind so you can say yes she is no she isn't so be careful is your uncle an engineer uh, no he isn't is that my dog or your dog it is my dog or something like that right so here they are going they're asking at what time do you go to bed so these are questions from preliminary grade right have you got a watch okay in which class are you this have is not there for your exam in your syllabus but uh, recently i've seen in some past papers they have put this question have so you just have to answer now they've asked this question with has has your house got a roof so you just say yes it has don't say have because they have not used have right have you got a watch yes i have so this 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 grammar structure is not there in your syllabus in the uh, in the advanced preliminary syllabus it's there in the pr uh, preparatory syllabus but then some examiners have put that okay so can't help right you will have to answer those questions if they are there right and we go on to the so there are like 100 questions there and in the next page we are going to talk about picture description right that's page number 22 picture description now for the last question you have to describe a picture right uh, they'll give a picture like that Let's see a picture mm, yes and they'll just show a picture like this there'll be a picture like this you will have to describe it right so i've given you some some easy steps to go through when you are describing a picture right so we are going to learn some easy steps to describe a picture you can use any method listed below to describe a picture uh, or you can use your own method that's fine if you know how to describe a picture you can use your own methods this is just to help the children who can't do it okay so if you are learning it for the first time you can do it according according to this right so first first of all you have to introduce the picture right or introduction of the picture the whole picture right for example if you look at this like this is a picture of a what a, a house and a something like this. this is a picture of a park it's a picture of a classroom like that you can give an introduction to the whole picture right but then you should know the spellings of them right that's the tricky part here but if you can do it please introduce the entire picture in one sentence this is a picture of a and you can introduce it right then after that you describe the objects on in the picture like for example there is a pen there is a ball there is a bat like that you can describe description of the objects of the picture so you can describe the objects so you'll have to use there is there are to describe that now prepositions were in uh, the preliminary grade we talked about in on under between near so you can use those prepositions to describe the picture right 
then use of action words now action words or the present continuous tense is not there in your grade this is there only in the preparatory grade so if you choose not to use it don't use it right you don't have to use it right but if you want to use it you'll have to do it properly right because some children can uh, they know how to use it and they uh, include it in the picture description so no problem at all right but for now we'll keep this aside so a uh, description of clothing okay so he is wearing a t-shirt he is wearing she is wearing a dress like that you can say use of adjectives yes you did adjectives in this grade so you can use all the adjectives that you know right which are in the word book so you know the spellings as well right use of have and has again this is there only for preparatory so you don't have to use it if you don't want to so just keep four and seven out and we go on talking about these other steps so as the first steps a uh, first step is to in the as the, sorry introduction of the picture right so the rule is you will have to use this sentence structure this is a picture of a now don't write other things uh, like this picture of a this picture is this is picture of a so some children write this is picture of a so those are that's wrong if you're writing this write it properly this is a picture of a <laughs> okay right this is a picture of a right so here you write this is a picture of a dog this one this is a picture of a cupboard like that so why i have given so many pictures is again to develop your muscle memory because this sentence need a lot of memory a lot of children don't write this properly or they write all nonsense so you write this is a picture of her you can't write this picture of her this is picture of her that is wrong if you're writing this write it properly there are one two three four five six six words in that sentence along with the other one i mean then there'll be seven words see if you're writing this sentence write it properly okay then you can go on doing that after that description of the objects in the picture so here you can take another book right you can take another book this is not compulsory to do it so you can take another book so draw your house and write 10 objects in it write sentences using the above form so here you'll have to write there is a so if you are if you have drawn your house you can say there is a bat there is a box there is a bed like that so if you write these sentences we write 10 sentences each you will be improving your muscle memory to write it properly okay then be careful if there are two or more objects you'll have to write there are there are books there are pens there are pencils right and like that so you can do this on another book then you go on to the next one use of prepositions okay so uh, be careful when you're using prepositions right you have to use am is are in front of the preposition right so you draw, draw the draw and answer the questions with the given word now you can draw anything here but it should be re related to the question and the given word where is the apple so you draw something maybe a okay sorry that's the apple right so where's the apple it is on the table so if you drew a book and you drew, drew the apple on the book you'll have to say it is on the book okay so you can decide what to draw where are you mm -hmm. and you have to use the word near so that's me mm. so i can write i am near the house then where are the pens mm -hmm. So we can say they are in the glass. You can draw anything. Okay, you can draw anything. And that is until 10 with act. Where's the boy looking at? He's looking at 
the book or the stars or something right now use of action words present continuous tense yes you can use it but be careful if you are using it please use it properly write as many action words you know adding and by adding ing to them right for example running going right knitting right so here there are the action words so you have to put ing the only thing is now for carrying and coming and all you have to uh, take off this e and all and write so there's a way of doing that so if you are not so sure about it please omit using action words for this grade right you can use uh, you know other sentence structures for this grade uh, let's try keeping this part out for now right but next in the next grade in the prepa uh, preparatory grade you have to use it okay and i'll teach you how to use it when you reach the preparatory grade right so for now we'll just keep this out but if you can use it yes please go ahead and here describe description of clothing again we'll go through the vocabulary you see what your mother wears what your father wears just write them and keep if you and get used to the spelling mainly mother what does she wear we say um sorry blouse like that you write and keep them right so that uh, when you want you can use these words right and here you'll have to uh, uh, now write sentences using the following format i am wearing a frock you are wearing a t-shirt like that so if it's a if it's like a picture you'll have to use he is wearing jack is wearing john is wearing like that you'll have to use the ing form there right just like this like uh, like the action words but you have to use only the word where so that is easy for you to uh, remember right then the next one is use of adjective so the vocabulary you can use this uh, you can check your word book for the vocabulary so write the opposite thin fat short long sad happy things like that right so you can go on writing that and here write as many adjectives as you can so colors is red blue yellow so get to know these spellings that's the main thing just get to know these spellings of course colors you have uh, you should have you should have done this in preliminary so you should know the colors right sizes big small like that shapes round uh, triangle triangular shape Regular. so like that you can write then good quality is good bad nasty <laughs> kind sorry nasty kind personality is happy okay sad vivacious like that then month okay time monthly annually so this is like uh, you won't get this actually cold age cold uh, sorry old age old young then sounds noisy soft like that you can write as much as you know right and uh, the question is now draw 10 pictures and write appropriate sentences as follows do this on another book again right you don't have space here to do it so draw 10 pictures and write appropriate sentences for example the girl is happy right and then what else uh you can like draw yeah the mountain is <laughs> is tall or something like that right that's stupid but you can write something that is appropriate right but be careful you have to write the mountain is the girl is i am you are he she, is she is like that according to what you learned in adjectives of the same grade okay of the same grade here we learned adjectives and how to write it right where is it now okay uh that is in uh, ah yes page 15 okay so we learned how to write it so don't forget it 
Okay, you write it properly. Now we'll go on to the next one. Use of have and has. Uh, I'll just teach it here. If you want, you can use it, right? So I have, you have, but he, she, it has. We have, you have, they have. So have and has is for possessives, means right? So now let us write 10 sentences using this rule. The boy has an ice cream. So you can draw yourself and say, uh, I have a pencil. Then you can draw a girl with a flower. She has a flower. So like that you can do that. Don't take that so seriously because we have to do it in detail for the next grade. Right. Now let's describe a picture. Right. Let's describe a picture. Now let's use this simple method to describe a picture. So first what did I tell you to do? Introduction of the picture. So introduce the whole picture. Description of the objects of the picture. Use prepositions. Yes, you can do that. You do that. You do that. Use of action words, I don't uh, think you should do it in this grade. Description of clothing, okay, if you want to. Use of adjectives, definitely do it because you have adjectives in this grade. Right. Use of have and has, I don't recommend to do it. Right. So, we'll go on. Okay, now this picture. Right. So, first of all, we'll see introduction of the picture. We'll take the first one. Can you introduce this picture? This is a picture of a garden. So you have to use that form. This is a picture of a garden or a park. Then, number two, description of the objects of the picture. So you say there are two boys in the picture. See, you can use there is or there are. Then you take the same, you take the same objects that you described about and then go on to the prepositions. Uh, then me boys are then again the Islamic QA. Like Islam a mulu pintura gana make a parakyan. Right, mulu pintura gana kiwot. There's a picture of a garden, may pintura garden ika kari, park ika kari gana. Eat a passing api unna me boys lava tora gata katakaran. Unami boys are then again a katakaram. There are two boys in the picture. E langata me boys la then use karagana api me prepositions for a dam. They are on the bench. On, on, on. Kya na preposition nega? Apne paavi chikaran pulwang. E den na kya na? Kya na kotha? Neda. Or you can say one boy is near the other boy. E vag e mukha kare kya na pulwang? E golo. E golo inna pihi ti manua. E golo ata preposition nega? Kya na pulwang? Then you can say okay. Use of action words. Okay, we'll keep that out. Description of clothing. Nika inkar mukha dena ata. Ah, the boys are wearing t-shirts. Eva ge bi anna pulwa. Me kato ne kila kiyam ko dana ta. Here ba se api gamo. Use of adjectives. Ah, they are happy. Nathan kiya anna pulwa. And they are tall. They are short. They are young. Oya muka kari kak dana. Right. They have bottles. Eka ta piya inkar muko. Right. Then e boys are denna gyan ne kiyo ve. Eta pa se tava object ka gun. Racket. There is a racket. Right? Onna, there is a racket. Here pass on a preposition. The racket is uh, near the tree or next to the tree. Uh, the racket is big or the racket is small. Hari muka kari eva ge dan. I think we dan api dan word zara gena. Api methaning last under sentences galapa gena yanna vena. Right? Uh, there is a tree. Mm, then we we'll take the preposition. The tree is behind the boys. Right. Then, the tree is tall. Mm. You can use like that. No, no, we can't use colors because we don't have colors here. We can exam the colors. But then we can tell like that. Right. So, you can use each and every object. Tell about the object. Then, use a preposition to tell about the object. Use an adjective to tell about the object. You think, oh, is Salama object like a kiana? Object means thing. Object like a describe. Describe karana. Ekata 
ප්‍රපොසිෂන් එකක් දාන්න ප්‍රපොසිෂන් කියන්නේ ඉන්න ඔන්න අන්න ඕව හරි මොකක් හරි එකක් දාන්න දැන් නියුටල් ඊට පස්සේ ඔබ්ජෙක්ටිව් එකක් දාන්න මෙතනින් ඕනම ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එකක් තෝරගන්න පුළුවන් ට්‍රී කියන ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එකට ප්‍රපොසිෂන් එක දාන්න පුළුවන් the tree is behind the boys uh, adjective එක දාන්න පුළුවන් it's a tall tree නේ ඒ වගේ අපි ගමු මේ බෝල් එක මේ බලන්න මේ බෝල් එක ගැන අපි කියමු මේ ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එක කතා කරන නම් there is a ball or a tennis ball or something right the tennis ball is near the racket preposition the tennis ball is small adjective ඉතින් ඔය ඔය ටිකෙන් අපිට මේ සේරම අපිට ඇත්තම ලියන්න තියෙන්නේ වාක්‍ය 12ක් වගේ තමයි ඉතින් ඔය තුන ලියාගෙන ලියාගෙන ගියොත් වාක්‍ය 12 නිකම්ම හැදෙනවා නේද ඉතින් ඒක හින්ද වැඩිය හිතන්න එපා ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එක ලියන්න there is there are කියලා ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එක ලියන්න there is or there are prepositions ලියන්න in on under ඔය ටික මොකක් හරි එකක් දාලා under over over ඉගෙන ගන්න තියෙන්නේ ඒවා දාලා adjective එකක් දාන්න big small tall short මොකක් හරි එකක් දාන්න ඒ වගේ right right එතකොට මේවා අපේ syllabus එකේ තියෙනවා word book එකේ තියෙනවා මේවට spellings ඒවා අපි ඉගෙන ගන්න ඕනේ අපි හිමින් ඉගෙන ගමු වාඩි වෙලා දැන් මේ lockdown එක ඉවරුනාම right ඒවා teachers spellings ගන්නවා ඕගොල්ලන්ගෙන් ඒ හින්දා ඒවා දැන දැන්ටමත් පාඩම් කරලා හිමින් හිමින් පාඩම් කරලා තියා ගන්න right so uh, here are the examination work obviously i have given them so adjectives these are there in your word book but i have given it here as well and then there are these determiners and all like examples for you mm. then uh, yes that's it yes that's all in this book the last part is for the i mean theory that we'll do later when we come in, come to the class so that's all uh, the grammar structures and uh, the writing work that you have for now so thank you very much